If it is in Hollywood and the squares. <laughs> hey, Malcolm, I didn't know you worked at Kmart. And apparently the hair on top of your head didn't know it either. <laughs> what? Do me a favor, go like this. I think I got something in my teeth. <laughs> what? You know, uh, next time you should use that Chia Pet stuff on your whole head. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is Higgins buying OJ's knife right now? You think you're tough? Hey, Malcolm, is that the knife the Indians use to half scalp you with? I don't even get that. What? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of What the Hell Happened to Them. The Adam Sandler saga is beginning to wind down, but there's still a long way to go. As joining you always is Patrick Scale and Jackson Joe Veckman. But today we have returned of Paul Giramini, who joined us for Grown Ups 1, and now he's come back to get a second helping. Thank you for having me. Always happy to have you, Mr. Jeremini. So, let me be, and then of course we have Lev Van Rensselaer on the audio boards, and the intern Jiminy has returned, ready to take all your phone calls. You can find the number at the He's bottom of the screen. Back? Why did he come back? Did his school not work out with it? No, his school's fine. He's just remember he was sick that week. Remember? I remember you saying that his internship was over. I don't remember that. I Jiminy. remember clearly you saying that three weeks ago. All right, Jiminy, give me, give me, Jiminy, bring me the paperwork. We're going to figure this out. All right, got to figure what's going on. And then, of course, we have our sponsor today is... I just don't want us to get any legal issues. No, 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 no. We'll be fine. He, does, he doesn't seem to be demanding money at the moment. And then, of course, uh, we have our sponsor, Walls, you know, to keep your roofs up above your head. If you enjoy your roof and not getting rained, you'll probably like Walls. Sometimes they're insulated. Sometimes they're insulated, but not today. All right, so let's just... Uh, Joe, will you give us a brief summary of Grown Ups 2? No. All right, Mr. Jeremini, will you give us a brief summary of Grown Ups 2? You know, it's it's hard to describe the film with no real plot. <laughs> I would say it was uh, Adam Sandler finds some other guys who he's friends with and then goes about town. <laughs> and then comes back later and has a party. <laughs> Yeah, that is so accurate. You know what's crazy is that this movie, this is essentially uh, Adam Sandler's version of Our Town by Thornton Wilder. <laughs> it's just a day in the life of this Massachusetts That's, town. Th- that was my one of my biggest notes. Yeah. This whole movie takes place in one yeah. day. Wow. Yeah, it's like it's like it's again Adam Sandler. So much happens. Again, this Adam Sandler day. has returned to his Jacques Dati roots sort of here. I mean, Dennis Dugan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this uh, I, I love how he yeah. blends that CGI oh, so do, well. Do you guys think that deer looked really good in 2013 when this no. movie came out? What about no. that tire scene? Oh, that's right. Yes, the tires. <laughs> this, the, the tire scene was very troubling, Mr. Jeremy. How do you think this holds up compared to the first movie? You know, I I think there are some jokes in this film that I do like. Okay, so in that regard, I did enjoy that part, but. Yeah. You know, I I think I I would like the first movie a little bit more than this movie. Interesting. Because the first movie actually had, I would say, more plot, which is hard (laughs) hard to describe. But they they went somewhere. And there was was a little arc with Adam Sandler's wife. Yep. She wanted to leave, and then she wants to stay. It's a very little arc. (laughs) But but it is there. It is there. There's something in the first film. And in the second film, there's really just nothing. Can, can, yeah. Ask me, please. All right, Joe, what, do you like this movie better or the other movie? I love this movie. So, okay, so you've been saying this for weeks okay. now. I and love I, this and, movie. And to this moment right you now, still I have... still don't know if you're being serious or not. I am so serious. I had the best time of my life watching this I, last night. I, I don't understand. Explain that to me. You don't... This is This is what you've been asking for. This is... Bananas Sandler. But it's not! Yes. The deer opening the scene up, peeing over the entire family. Yeah. Yes. That's how I want my movie to start out. I hope that deer comes back for Grown Up Sleep, which we are getting very soon. uh, Sooner than you uh, think. Help us. We'll have to take a a trip to the theater. I don't know if I want (laughs) to. No. I'm... I'm... 
I feel good about saying that I like this movie. Oh my this, this god! This is one of his better movies. N- incorrect. One of his definitely one of. I would put this maybe in his top five. Oh no! Top five. No. No, no, no. This movie is so enjoyable. Listen, here's the deal. I don't know what's going on with me, but I had this weird existential angst watching this movie. I just, like, the movie happened at me. I wasn't with the movie, and I, I think... I think I'm losing the energy to, to tolerate these movies now. Like, I think I'm dying inside as I watch these movies, and I just can't be a part of them anymore. Well, I think that's what's happening in this maybe, movie right now. Maybe it's because this is your first watch through. Which I can say this is not okay. This is my fourth watch. But I think I Four hate. Times. I think I hate Grown Ups one more because I had to watch it twice. Oh yeah, no, I, I, I thought Grown Ups one was a terrible. So like movie. I hate, I hate that. But like in this one, like well, at least it's done now. It was weird how qu- for a movie with no plot, how quickly the whole thing kind of wrapped up. Oh yeah, like every problem got solved at this with one a, ridiculous fight. You mean it? It wraps up with a burp snart. Yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> No, I just remember there were like 28 dangling plot threads and the, just about all of them wrap up Only in 28? one Only <laughs> Do you remember the plot? This the really tiny subplot. For, yeah. It lasts like three minutes where yeah. he goes to a football field with his son. Oh, yeah, but did you ever get a football <laughs> right. in this game? Did you there like that? There is football. Yeah. yeah, but it didn't last very long. Did not. And then they didn't even go back to it. Like his bone was just broken and then that was it. <laughs> But he was almost a football star. I know. And, and the coaches, like, stop. Yeah. And they're like, wow. He, and then they, he pulls him back another, like, 10 yards yeah. and another 10 yards. Yeah. And they're, like, riveted. They're like, well, his career's over. After no. He well, breaks, so like, he's a good kicker. The girl's a good singer. The kid's a good piano player. There's a lot of prodigies in this movie. Oh, yeah. We're asking for arcs, and we got them. There's uh, just, like, every every child has some magical gift that they have. I, here's, here's the other thing, guys. I don't. I didn't know Adam Sandler had a daughter, and I remember none of C- Chris Rock's kids. That is one of my notes. Did yeah. they add more kids to this movie? I like. <laughs> I really feel like they added more kids to this movie. Well, how long did and those and, the, and Adam Sandler's kids look like they've grown up a lot, mm-hmm. and Kevin James's kids look like they've grown up not at all. Mm-hmm. And again, I don't remember any of Chris Rock's children. I remember Maya Rudolph was pregnant with one. Oh yeah, so they, that's where that little baby came from. Okay, the one that was like, "Ooh, that's cold." Yeah. I don't remember the other kids, though. Yeah, no. I feel bad. Well, to be fair, they weren't a major part. No. And David Spade got a new kid. David Spade one. got a kid. And Rob Schneider disappeared. Joe, what happened to Rob Schneider? They don't want him. They don't want <laughs> him? I mean, that's the vibes I was getting. Oh, you didn't do research? I thought I had some Rob Schneider friends. They're not friends anymore? Well, maybe it was because he was shooting three episodes of Rob at the time. Okay. I thought maybe you did some research on where Rob Schneider. Is he going to be in Grown Ups 3? I highly doubt it. Because they replaced him with Nick Swartzen. I don't know if that worked as Weren't well. Weren't you so excited to see Nick Swartzen as the replacement bus driver for Chris Farley? Uh, it took you that long to get that? That's I, I, I was like, I read right into that. Uh, <laughs> that's from, what was the movie? Billy Madison. Billy Madison. Yeah, that's right. Did you see Billy Madison as Jeremy? I did, but I barely remember any of it. How yeah. could you? Explain to me this Chris Farley connection. So I'm Chris, Chris Farley was the bus driver in Billy Madison for a couple scenes, and now they have a bus driver character, mm-hmm. and it's Nick Swartzen. They... Don't look related. No. They could have gotten Chris Farley's actual brother. He has a brother. I did not know that. Is his brother an actor? Yeah. No, I mean, I guess they want Swartzen back, because Swartzen hadn't been in the movies for a while. They make him a different character. They even plug in Andy Samberg for five seconds. Which I enjoyed. With the rest of the Lonely Island guys. Oh, really? Yeah. I have no idea Plus, who's uh, in that. Plus Killam mm-hmm. from SNL. I don't know who that is either. And Bobby Moynihan. I don't know who that is either. You, that means you haven't watched SNL in like 15 years. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> can we can we take a sec? Yeah. And note, there are some weird, almost cameos in this film. Almost that was strange cameos? to me. Yeah, so, tell me something, well, Jeremy. I guess, so Shaq, which wasn't Shaq. a cameo, but I don't De- understand why he's in this I film. I have no idea either. That's my note. Why is Shaq in this movie? Joe, why is Shaq in this movie? Because why not? Okay, I, ca- I mean, I guess. Uh, Shaq was a delight in this movie. Do you remember... Towards the end, yeah, where he throws the man over the yes. house. Yeah, <laughs> that is uh, that is awesome. Listen, no, I don't know. Like this, this didn't feel so this fun. didn't feel like the Adam Sandler zaniness that you saw in earlier movies. And I think I blame the direction. I've not seen so b- noticeably bad direction and staging since I watched that Hulk Hogan babysitting movie. Where everything was just choppy and blocky, and stilted, and there's Hold just on. dead space You're everywhere. Mister Nanny, yes. 
I think that's the name of it. Wow. Chris Yonchich made me watch it. Mr. Yonchich made me watch it one time, and it was the first time I looked at the movie and go, this is horribly put together. I'm not saying that yeah. we should watch all no, of those movies, no. but I'm saying maybe I we should watch back. most of I those can't movies. Do it again. <laughs> what about Santa with muscles? Uh, all right, what other Mr. Cameras did you. Uh, fine, Mr. Jeremini. I'm looking at my notes and I'm not. Finished. Okay, well, with that <laughs> one. Well, there was Andy Samberg, which Andy I thought Sandberg was weird. Shows up. Well, that, he's, like he's been in the last few of of uh, Adam Sandler's movies, Mr. Jeremini. So yes, starting with so that's they're, my boy, they're, they're buddies now. Yeah, that's my boy, which I think was right after Grown Ups One mm. that had a Rex Ryan in it, Mr. Jeremini. Yes. Were there any cameras. football or sports mm. people in this? I saw like really odd, lingering, like Who, old people that I didn't the, recognize. Who's the cop with Shaq? That's Peter Dante. All right, what's he been in? Uh, all of Sandler's movies. I don't remember him. The don't Water know why. Boy. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know why. And you know what? He's like, he's the guy that makes fun of him that gets like kicked in the face. Yeah. He's also oh. one of the gay guys in Big Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's in uh, Little Nicky. He plays one of the stoner rocker guys. Yeah. All right. All right. There you go. It's come back now. Yeah. This is Adam Sandler. This is Adam Sandler's biggest, most friend inclusive, except for Rob Schneider group in the thing it really feels like they really don't like i feel really bad i don't know i thought rob schneider was their buddy i don't know what happened is it falling out does adam sandler still produce rob schneider's movies does rob schneider still make movies uh i mean i'll look into this yeah go figure that out i'll I'll look into this also Uh, as i was watching this movie i kept thinking i wonder what this movie would be like if you hadn't If you hadn't seen the first one, I feel like there's a lot of things that would be, like, go right over your head if you had not seen it. A lot of it builds on the first one. I re- I mean, I know yeah. my reference will be lost yes. on almost all the people. Yes. But this movie is essentially yeah. beyond the Valley of the Dolls in Adam Sandler's catalog. Okay. That movie has yeah. no connectivity to the first one. Yeah. Besides, like, name and, like, setting. All right. And I know there's the a couple of characters. Of dolls. Yeah. Yeah. That's the setting. This movie... Yeah. Is, like, on the level of Beyond oh, the Valley of the dolls. dolls. Yes. Which means I, I'm not trying to make no, you not want to watch listen, it. I, listen, I listen. Think, I think all three people listening that get that reference enjoy it, so... So that's good. <laughs> Yeah, take that. I mean, yeah. This this movie is what I like. I it's like it's a cartoon. It's nah. I don't know. It was just so badly done, though. It was just like a but dumb John cartoon. That's another one we're forgetting. John Lovett shows up. Where yeah, he's the guy. David Spade's co-star from Rules of Engagement shows up as the Indiana Jones yoga instructor guy. I, yeah, that's one of the guys. I was like, yeah. why are they lingering so long on him? No, they're just hanging out there with that weird little plot. I, don't, I like Adam Sandler talking about how his wife's too hot for him oh, because they're in yes, a Hollywood yes, movie. Yes. I have a specific note on that. I, me too. I was yeah. like, Patrick's going to enjoy it. That's I, my note. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so would you... Would that, you that, is a one, that is one of the yeah. jokes I actually enjoyed. Yeah. <laughs> so. It was, it was uh, at least, they, at least they, yeah, they broke the fourth wall. They lampshade dimmed, and that's appropriate there. But then you know, and then of course, then Colin Quinn has like a long ice cream poop uh, joke. Yeah, no, I mean, and he's better than I'm, that, and they're all better than that. And it's unfortunate that they had that. That scene probably took them like four hours to film too. That feels like a Dugan note. I, I, <laughs> I do. I do think that's important that you called out that ice cream joke. I yeah. thought there was a lot of like crude jokes in this film yes. that didn't work, and maybe because I don't really enjoy like a yeah. crude humor film. Mm-hmm. But I thought there was some that scene in particular, the yes. deer peeing. Oh yeah, so all the, th- the throw dumb. up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the cutest uh, amounts of throw up. Out of vomiting. Yes. Um, this movie's. Th- this talk, I'll, I yeah. look past. I can't believe um, you like this movie. I feel like we should go see Rob Schneider do stand up comedy and then ask ourselves. He's coming <laughs> to the New England area. Yeah, so we'll very just. Soon. We'll just rush the stage. Dude, what's going on with Grown Ups 2? Explain that to me, please. I mean, these are little comedy clubs. I'm not saying. Oh, really? He's going to sell it like an arena. Oh, I, that, now I feel even worse Damn. for Rob Schneider if he has to still do little comedy clubs. And that's that's the way to Would do it. Would you go on the laugh connection before, before, or the laugh factory? Like, he's just getting back to chuckle roots. fuckers. What? What? Ch- Would you call it chuckle fuckers? That's not a real place. <laughs> I know it's not a real place. It's a Pat Oswalt joke. Oh, okay. At least that's where I heard it. 
So is that just Adam Sandler's style to always always go crude? Or? No, I don't. I think that I think that's crude. like as he's been targeting the younger audience, that's where he goes. Or as he gets lazier and makes more movies a, a year, that seems to be where he goes. One of the first hits for Rob yeah. Sh- just Rob Schneider is why Hollywood won't cast Rob Schneider anymore. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot. There are a lot of reasons for that. No, so like, like this is sort of the difference between why Grown Ups Two doesn't work, but something like Waterboy does. Waterboy is not crude; it's absurd. But Grown Ups Two isn't really absurd; it's just kind of crude, but coming out of left field. Do you know he was nominated for three primetime Emmys? Rob Schneider. He was for what? Let's find out. This is this is news this, to this me. is becoming the podcast that defends Rob, Rob Schneider, Schneider now. Podcast. That's what um, you're doing. this is you yeah. defending Rob. I Schneider. just I don't understand how he doesn't make the cut, but. Kevin James does. Oh, he's. It's because he was in. Uh, he he wrote on SNL. That's all. Uh, oh, okay. He's part of like fifteen writers. Yeah. Who write with uh, Adam Sandler for his movies? Yes. The Tim Meadows what thing finally did wear me down though. It got you. It finally like the, yeah. And after the third one, when he no was, like when he's when in the like middle, him out, like no. Whoa! No, no, I remember, like, he's in the middle of, like, a regular, and it's like, what does that mean? And then he goes, what? And then you're like, ah, oh, you caught me off guard there, well done. But then they kept doing it, what and about it was done. when they, like, zoomed in on a frog again? No, that's why I'm like, I'm like, that's not, that doesn't work like the turtle does. It doesn't. It's, you tried to capture that magic again, it didn't work. They not nice only did it once, they did, like, three times. I don't, I don't even remember the other times. Here's what I do remember, is the college kids making an Al Jolson reference, they wouldn't know who that is. They are too young. And self-absorbed. Even, oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't that, know yeah, Al Jolson. Yeah. Al Jolson. Al Jolson was in the first ever talkie, <laughs> Mr. Jeremy. Uh, with the jazz singer? The jazz singer. I can't believe I know that. Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't a full talkie. A lot of it is him speaking in subtitles. But then when he sings, then you actually have audio. See, that almost sounds like a, like a yeah. smart joke. Yeah. But it, it doesn't jive with the it rest of the film. It does not so fit in with that film. Someone wants Rob Schneider to do a McConaughey with his career, which I don't think is possible. I don't like, Starring Lincoln ads? He could st- <laughs> no, he could be in True Detective Season 3. Oh. That's not happening. That would be... <laughs> that show is that would be, not being they greenlit could, anymore. They, no, they, they'll, the door is open. He can come back. Someone said worse than Polly Shore. Ouch. That's not true. That's not very nice. Oh, I, what's crazy is, Mr. Jeremy, is how quickly these people got costumes together in such short notice. And pretty good ones, too. For this giant I, crazy party that also came together very nicely on such short notice. I like how yeah. Adam Sandler was supposed to be Bruce Springsteen, the boss. Yeah. But then by the end, when he turns that baseball cap uh, backwards, he turns into Fred Durst. Oh, really? You didn't Did they see reference that? that? No, I just felt okay. like that. He look he if he had yeah bright blonde hair. I don't. I'm not a fan of nostalgia, so I don't. It just felt like what the third act was. Just everybody being like, "Hey, how this is how crazy Hollow the notes. '80s is." Yeah, and then everybody's gonna explain what their costume is. So meatloaf, now I gotta sit you look, through it you, all. You, what was the joke? He's like, you smell like meatloaf or something. I don't, I don't remember. Mm. What's crazy is how quickly all these problems get solved, though. Right, like, like, <laughs> like Adam, Sandler, Adam Sandler's <laughs> wife was mad at him for throwing a party, but then isn't. And Kevin James's wife is mad that he's got like this weird relationship with his mother, but then she's not. And then they go to a car wash. Ronaldo and Chris Rock and his wife actually don't actually have a problem. Yeah, Chris Rock doesn't want to put cable right. in somewhere. And, yeah, Chris Rock is mad that his daughter is dating Tim Meadows' son. But Who then, has the same hairline yeah. as Tim Meadows but as then, an older man. But then nothing happens with that. Hmm. Um... What else? What else happened that didn't matter? Like well, all of it. I mean, that's that's what I liked about this movie because there yeah. there are no stakes. There are there are less the stakes, stakes than there were in Grown Ups One. This is a hangout movie. You're hanging with your buddies. This was indeed a bunch of people hanging out. They go. Out, they spent so long in a Kmart. Did Kmart sponsor this movie? I want to say yes. Also, yeah. did you uh, see the Patrick Schwarzenegger cameo? Who? He was hanging out with Taylor Lautner's crew. No, I did not. Oh, that's who that is? Yeah, it's oh, the the, no the werewolf from Twilight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, pa- Patrick Schwarzenegger was in the back. That's that's Arnold Schwarzenegger's son. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that was Taylor Lautner. Yeah. I, know, I don't know Taylor Lautner, Lautner is the werewolf from uh, the Twilight movies. I know him as the guy who was in that motorcycle movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, which motorcycle movie? That movie that he's in. Just, motorcycle? <laughs> this is just the movie that he's he in. He was in that movie. He was on a motorcycle in the preview. Hmm. That's it. That's what I. Wait, know is it movie. like an action movie? Yeah. Was it with Harrison Ford? I have no idea. Because wasn't I remember the motorcycle? I remember maybe Rain. 
and him driving the motorcycle. Hmm. Yeah. This is... Let that sink in. This is... Mm -hmm. I don't know about this one. I think I remember it. Here's what also was annoying. Mm. How early the mailman comes to Adam Sandler's house to Mm. be there for while they're still sleeping slash attacked by a deer. Mm. No, he was just delivering mail. Right. Maybe yeah, but, but like at nine in the morning? That seems early, right? Do you know it was nine? I don't know. I'm just, why are they, why else would they be sleeping in so late on I mean, the last day of school? Oh. Mm, that's a good point. Good. That's a good point. This is... I'm breaking thought. down your world <laughs> movie. Wow. The mailman's got to start at some house. <laughs> so maybe he just starts yeah. at their house. I, <laughs> when the awkward high yeah. five that Adam's, like that the mailman tries to get from Adam Sandler that yeah. he actually gets, yeah. that goes on too long. The, uh, uh, the movie goes on too long. The hour and forty minute movie goes I mean, on too long. I love this movie, but I yeah. know it's. I'm not. I'm not saying it's a it's good weird that movie. You love this movie. This so- it's fun to watch because it's so yeah. absurd. Yeah, and that I can't believe this is really a thing that exists in the yeah. world. Mm. We were we were given a gift. No, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. So definitely the wrong word to use. You were given a gift of yeah. just. Pure insanity. No, it's the opposite of gift. It's a, uh, a T fig. Yeah. Do you think this movie shot in ten days? Yeah. <laughs> this movie is actually but a they documentary. They just picked up and went to different locations and were like, "Okay, like, we have right, to get all of our scenes no, done." We got to spend a million hours in the bus. They and shot spend twenty a pages million a day. hours of Kevin James's work. <laughs> and then we got. I guess Chris Rock is a cable guy now and has a, <laughs> and likes to, to screw over his mother in law still. Yeah. So, I enjoyed that joke. <laughs> <laughs> and then that, that never got resolved. I don't know if Selma Hayek's business is still failing. It seems like it's not oh, doing well. Sherry O'Terry. Sherry O'Terry. Shows, I feel bad for... With for, her barrette. I feel bad for Sherry O'Terry's husband. Who, Steve Buscemi? Who, yeah. Who's <laughs> you clearly, feel bad? You couldn't remember her I husband's remember, name? I couldn't remember his name. Who, who is clearly in this loveless marriage and doesn't even know it. Oh. And that never gets fixed by the end of the movie either. But there was a reference. Yeah. There was a slight reference yeah. to Grumps 1 when yeah, Steve right. Buscemi... Yeah, he makes that joke. He's like, dude, it's two years. And I go, I go if you had never seen this before, you would be. You would have no idea what that means. <laughs> you know, rewards diligent watchers. Yeah. Are you... Diligent <laughs> watchers. <laughs> uh, because you did. It's like yeah. a blink and you miss it moment. So, yeah. It's very... Like Stone Cold it, Steve Austin. Why haven't we mentioned Stone Cold Steve Austin? That's right. He shows up with the, the ballet teacher who conducted a ballet that nobody would ever put on ever, ever in a school, ever. I, I do wonder why at yeah. the end he's like okay with Adam Sandler like punking him out. I think that they, because they bond over the son stuff, right? Mm. Which is the why he's like, he's got a son in Afghanistan. And, oh, right, and I missed Sandler, that yeah. I, somehow, even though I was paying Even though you watch this movie four times, you missed that little, little I tidbit. I definitely missed that. All four times. Yeah, he doesn't want like it just look for it on the fifth. He doesn't want to be embarrassed in front of the one son. He doesn't care about the other son, I guess, who had such a small part in this movie <laughs> compared to last time. Mm. And then, yeah, and then the other son doesn't get beat up by the bully anymore because he saves the bully. Mm. Wouldn't it be funny if look they just that. brought all conflict of... resolution, Mister Jeremy? One hundred and one. There they go. I think it would be very funny if they just brought all of Rob Schneider's daughters back, but not Rob Schneider. <laughs> Yeah, the third Rob Schneider was like he didn't show. exist in this universe, nor they, the, nor the coach. For all the things they brought back, they didn't reference the coach that brought them together in the first place. Yeah, well, he was dead, so it doesn't matter. But apparently, much. which is weird, because apparently they all still live in the same town and go to the same and in the same school district, so they all live super close together. They don't even mention what Adam Sandler's job is. <laughs> no, I, apparently it's nothing. That's what he says. He says, "I want another kid," which his wife. Apparently was pregnant and was trying to get him to think it was his idea. Yeah, so she's, she was trying to sneak in an extra pregnancy. She's very upset that he does not want another yeah. kid. And right, but, just, but then that gets off super quickly, because too. Because they just have to deal by, with By it. a wise word from Charlie's mother from Sunny in Philadelphia. That is true. I thought yeah. that was Charlie's mother the entire time. Mm-hmm. It's, uh... Yeah. It was like the only character she could play. It's like sweet, sweet, sweet mother. Sweet mom. Yeah. What did you think of when Shaq stopped the tire with just his body? Yeah, Shaq I mean, is like... A, yeah. Good joke. That's what I thought. He's <laughs> channeling like the 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 Steel movie that he did. What? He did another movie? Steel? Yeah, it's like Steel something. Steel. Where he plays a superhero. Shazam? No, it was not Shazam. Okay. It's Shaq plays a superhero. He plays a superhero. Yeah. And like, Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu. What's this? That's a video game for the Shaq. the Sega Genesis, I think. Wow. I think it came out Super NES too. So yeah, it was like a nineteen ninety four. Wow. Like he had just joined Shaq. the Orlando Magic, so it was like he was a big deal. 
Uh, yeah, and you karate, you Shaq foo people to I death. Just, I was just... Shaq like, is like a, Michael Jordan throw down in the Windy City or something like that, mm-hmm. where you throw flaming basketballs at people. His just his presence in this movie yeah. is just very like captivating. No, it's not. When you see all That's those the tattoos, wrong term. I didn't know he had that many tattoos. Oh yeah, the car wash scene. And speaking of tattoos, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. we'll get into that in a second. But tattoos. Yeah. When we see David Spade's son, yeah, with all of his, all his tattoos. tattoos on, they do a gorilla. Like, weird close-up on one of them that just says, Soup Kitchen My Ass. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Because he, he thought... So, is he just giving himself tattoos? He's giving himself tattoos. During the day? During, yeah, that's right, because he's 13, he can't get real tattoos. He does not look 13. I qu- Yeah, that was the yeah. joke, I think. I oh, think they like okay. had, like, an adult actor play his 13-year-old <laughs> yeah, son. Yeah, he's from The Hunger Games. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. The Hunger Games already come out by this movie? Definitely. Oh, There's okay. at least two. I don't know. <laughs> No, yeah, so, like, when he came off, I thought he was, like, an adult son, and then it took me a while to figure out he was still... Yeah, it, it's, that That it's, joke, I think, he has a hard time landing. But what was funny, right, Mr. Jeremy, when he comes up with a picture, mean, when he comes up with a drawing, it says him, mm-hmm. he goes, <laughs> yeah. you're him. Oh, yeah. And, that, uh, that one was okay. That one worked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of these jokes have trouble landing. Like, I'm not laughing at the jokes that they're telling. Yeah. I'm laughing at the absurdity of everything I think going on of the movie. four people, I think David Spade is able to pull off the crappy jokes... Best, yeah, because he always kind of laughs it off. Yeah, David, David, yeah, David Spade kind of like knows yeah. this thing is terrible, so he's like okay with it. They, another reference to him yeah. having maybe a wig. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how he just always keeps his hat on. Yeah, all the time, all even the time. when he's like soaking wet. Mm-hmm. Mm. What about when they had to jump off the cliff naked? Strange. I guess like that felt Strange. like sending us into the second act. There, right? like it's supposed to be about like these guys trying to reclaim their youth, and then they spend most of the movie not reclaiming their youth. Yeah, and then eventually guys. the guys come back at the end. They show up to the guy's house, like 60 of them, and then they just throw down. Like, wh- that what? was a giant fight. Yeah. And it was so oddly staged. Yeah. Because. Because Dennis Dugan doesn't know how to direct. Yes. Yeah, mostly. I mean. I mean, I don't know how you would direct that scene, that act. It's an act anyway. So. He's a very strange director. We've yeah. seen his struggle. Yeah. <laughs> it seemed like he could make movies mm-hmm. more competently before, and now as it keeps going, I think he knows. Well, I'll get I'll get bank on this anyway. Yeah, Why he, should I put in effort? Do you think he just doesn't? Yes, care? I do. I do. I do. I don't think he was that strong anyway, but he got by, and now he doesn't have to care. So they just keep going. He knows Adam Sandler's going to come back. He knows this movie's going to make a lot of money. How did the box office do for this? Oh, I want also before I get to that. Uh, yeah. Shaq is Tim Meadows' brother, by the way. Yes, I did get that. And we find out. Uh, they first tell you that his that's that's his brother because they make a reference to choking out Tim Meadows. Yeah. And if you didn't get that, yeah. Shaq takes off his hat. He takes off his hat, and they have the, the exact guy. same hairline. Yeah. I love the bald joke, recurring yeah. <laughs> joke to that entire family. Everyone's got. Yeah, it. Everyone, everyone's got the hair problem. <laughs> Even the mother. Even the mother. Was that Wanda Sykes or was that just some random lady? Hey, I'm, I'm no comment. Okay. I'm not going to say I'm, I don't think it was Wanda Sykes. All right. <laughs> what other films did this Dugan guy direct? Or has he just done He's Sandler? Mostly, mostly Sandler's. Mostly Sandler films. And, okay, and other so, films you'd easily forget afterwards. Uh, just a refresher. Yes. Grown Ups 1, the domestic, was $162 uh, million. That's, yep. And it made... Worldwide, 271. All right. Well, first, wow. this is Jeremini. How much do you think this movie cost to make? Mm. Grown Ups 2? Yeah. Yes, please tell me. Mm, I'm going to go 30 million, which I think is what I said for Grown Ups 1. So All modest. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say 80 million. Uh, 80 million? You yeah. are on the money. I think I we, have, my we have budgeting. figured out the formula. Give them 80 million. <laughs> dollars. <laughs> Where did all the money go? Yeah, that's right, Mr. Jeremy. Where did it go? So, wait. You give them $80 million. Yeah. If the next movie does yeah. well, you give them $82 million. Yeah. But if it does poorly, yeah. 79 79 And then they earn the 80 mm-hmm. if that uh, if does the 79 well. does well. This, so We've, we figured it out. There's a magic formula, Mr. Jeremy. Well, Mr. Jeremy, you forget this movie has like 100 cast members in it. That's true. All for three seconds at a time, but there they are. I mean, they had to run out the Kmart, so yeah. it's probably expensive. <laughs> Are there even Kmart's anymore? They're, it's only been three years, but I think they're all gone now. They're, they could be... Uh, the one here is definitely not here anymore. Okay, so yeah. yeah, it was 80 million. 80 million, so how much do you think it made? How much did Grown Up Swan made? 160? 
Growing up. Domestic. Yeah, domestic. So how much do you think it made domestic, Miss Germany? Mm. Growing up too. Ooh, I'm gonna say probably around the same. So I'm gonna say 160. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say dipped 140. Oh, you're getting so close, Patrick. It's 133. Ah! You just know the number of these games better than I. I do. <laughs> you're right about how it dipped, though. Yeah. Uh, What's the international? International. Yeah. How does this movie? How well does this movie travel? 113 million. Uh, Compared to how many last time? Which last time? Uh, it's like 279. So it traveled. Oh. People were more excited for this sequel. They were slightly more excited for this movie. I think the weirder thing is that it stayed pretty much the same. Mm. So this so this movie so made it made a little less about two forty six. This movie, yeah, it it's, this movie tr- tripled its its budget. Tripled it, Mr. Jeremy. How does this appeal to an international <laughs> audience? Isn't this like no, what, this, the American stereotype? No, not even that. It's just comedy travels so hard because it's so language based a lot of the time. That's why there's a lot of like, and so like a lot of cultures just wouldn't get a lot of the jokes. So like. But you got you got peeing deers and yeah, all the the jokes are spinning. There's not really like any like car wash thing joke jokes. Yeah. It's all like you're definitely right. There aren't like really any slapsticks. jokes in this movie. <laughs> there aren't really any jokes, and there's a little slapstick here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I feel like there's a lot more slapstick than like people trying to tell jokes. Mm, yeah, or trying to I don't think funny. anyone's trying trying to tell jokes are funny. I think they're just trying to get the scene done so they could <laughs> go drink some beers again. That's where all the money went. Yeah. All right, what did this open up against? Oh, uh, well, it opened in number two for its opening. Ooh, week. below what? Despicable Me 2. <laughs> That's tough competition. Battle of sequels. Uh, More family friendly. And that movie yeah. was uh, $4 million less to make. <laughs> 76. Mm. And it made, and in its two weeks, it yeah. made $228 million. Oh, my dollars. God. <laughs> I've never, never seen this movie. It has made so much. I money. saw the first. I saw one. the first one. I don't really need, want to need to see the second yeah, one. Yeah, I was. I was good. Now uh, they have like a new one. They have minions. They have the minions. This, then they're gonna have another minions movie coming. I out. feel like that couldn't hold its own, but apparently it's they're doing fine. Yeah. Yeah. The critics don't like them. <laughs> like they don't like much of DreamWorks, but yeah. Um. So yeah. So it was. Despicable Me 2, yep. Grown Ups 2, number 2 for mm-hmm. the opening week. And then also opening that week because uh, yeah. it was Pacific Rim. Oh, yeah. I'm crushed that it's number 3. <laughs> it's, it's clearly the best film of that three. <laughs> yeah, it was number 3. It was also in contention with another yeah. uh, Kevin Hart com- comic special. Uh, 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 number 4 was a Kevin Hart no, 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 stand-up no, no, no. special? That was, that was number 9. Okay. That had already been out for 8 weeks. Oh, it was still the top 10. Man, <laughs> Kevin Hart has captured a nation. So <laughs> weird. Is that for 8 weeks? It was still the top a stand-up <laughs> special stand-up you have to pay to see at the movie theater. It'll be on Netflix within like... Yeah! Uh, it was number 4. It was number 4. The Heat... Oh, with uh, Sandra Bullock Sandy and Bees. Melissa McCarthy. Mm-hmm. Remember that movie? Uh, uh, you're right. Dropping down yeah. from number two in the number five slot was The Lone Ranger. I was dropping around number five. It, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that movie did not make much money. I remember that movie. Uh, then number six was Monsters University. Oh, uh, yep. Okay. Number seven, World War Z. Oh. Number eight, <laughs> White House Down. Number nine was that Kevin Hart movie. And then number ten... And it's seventh week in release with Man of Steel. It's it's. I remember all the movies coming out. It's just crazy that they all came out together. Yes. Those are all concurrent movies. And then oh oh, but another new movie that was premiering that week. Yeah. Uh, a little little indie called Fruitvale Station. Ah, which was uh, being very good. It was just barely cracked the top twenty. Yeah. In its 19th place. Well, yeah, but it was in like five theaters. It so. also probably cost like under a million dollars. It, co- it definitely cost way less than all those other movies. Oh, it's so good though. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, Mr. Jeremy, you have so many notes and they're all time stamped. Do you have any other gems you want to share with us? I want to say I like the Judge Dredd callback. I know you don't like nostalgia, yeah. but when he there said... There was a Judge Dredd? Yeah. Yeah, when he said he was the law, and he said it twice. Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah. He's, like, I, on the roof, and he's, and he's like, skiing. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then he said it oh, earlier yeah. in the film. <laughs> Is that Peter Dante? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Shaq's cop friend. 
Shaq's cop. Yeah, the the other cop. There in town. is a part where Peter Dante like starts talking like is his first line, yeah. and he says his name, Peter Dante. And he's like just this little weird little rap. <laughs> thing. Oh, I don't remember that at all. It's like right when he start like his yeah. first line. Right, right after they introduce Shaq, then Peter Dante walks up. Shaq was like, on the Celtics for like three months. You guys know that? When I remember was, that. When he was bad. What do you have right yeah. at the end? Yeah, I mean, at the last very, paycheck. very end. How old was he, though? 40? That's pretty old. That's, yeah, this is very old, yeah. Right? So let's lay off him. I'm just saying, he was on the Celtics. It's cool that he's on the Celtics. Finally, yeah, it was nice of the Celtics to finally get him when he wasn't very good anymore. <laughs> Did he retire as a Celtic? I don't know. I, I, he one got the one, the one day contract yeah, okay. from the Lakers. Yes. Any other exciting notes there, Mr. Jimmy? You know, I like the raft. The raft. The raft joke. joke. You know, I'm a good. It happens like, like physical twice. Human. So that, twice. Yeah, twice. Once at Kmart. Once at the party. And then like he's surfing For around on it too again. at the end of the bus. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Right. I don't know. It was it was a very large raft. I was expecting it to pop out, but it definitely was much bigger than I expected. I feel like Nick Swartzen's character should have been dead a long time ago in this movie. Yeah, the physics. <laughs> it's weird they like, all know him and with. are okay with him. Like these are people. These are family men. They should be like, hey, you stay with my kid. Did anybody have a problem with Adam Sandler just starting to drive the bus? Yeah, don't you need a license with that? He just. Yes. I, th- I think it's extremely illegal. <laughs> Because there's a lot of kids on that bus. A lot of kids on that bus. I know it's the last day of school and they need to get to school. Yeah. But, like... Yeah, they'll find a way. Yeah. They'll also, find a way. Nick Swartzen, he should be in jail. Yeah, <laughs> why does that guy have a bus driver? He's barely wearing clothes most like, of that movie. At least Chris Farley just stole their lunches. <laughs> yeah. He didn't, like, endanger them. No, yeah, it's definitely gone up a tier mm. uh, since a 1996. Tier. 95. Mm, 95. All right, yeah. 20 years later, they jumped the shark with Nick Swartz and Bus Driver, who was friends with them inexplicably for no reason. What was the first movie he, they did with them? I can't even remember. Was it Jack yeah, no, and Jill? Yeah, I don't know. He shows up for five seconds, though, and you're like, oh, it's Nick Swartz. Yeah. That guy. No, and, Colin, and, John Colin, and then Adam Sandler's son works for Colin Quinn, but mm-hmm. that's that takes five seconds, and that doesn't go anywhere. Because he then wants he, to get the date with the... He wants to get the date with the girl. The girl that we've been hearing about the whole movie, and then don't see her until there's like 20 minutes of the movie No, left. we saw her like in school I don't, briefly. Really? Mm-hmm. Did we know it was her? Yeah. I don't remember that at all. Like, uh, yeah. And then he just asks her out, and she's like, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. And that was it. That was done. It was yeah, over. She's really the end. It. Well, she's into it for no reason. She and then up saves at the party. Him. She yeah. at the party. Well, he has a job, and then saves his day. He's a jo- yeah. He d- uses a he has a job at the ice cream her. store. Yep, he does use the line on her. And, and then Colin Quinn calls him out on what he's doing. Yeah, right in front of her. And she's still okay with it. Yeah, she's just like, oh, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, and I'm, I mean, I'm seeing being movie. earnest goes a long This way. makes me think that we should try this out. Uh, yeah. No, let's okay. just go around and let's just just do get the, into an Adam Sandler movie. The Grown Ups Two method. Oh, okay. That's the way you guys wanted to do. Yeah. What do you want to do? I want to be in the Adam Sandler movie. You want to be in an Adam Sandler movie? Yeah, like our one of our uh, oh, like like Miss, Miss Ryan Harms mm-hmm. of the Stranger that we filmed recently. Yes, yes. You probably get paid well based on the budget. No, I mean they're extras, but yeah, you would totally get paid well. They're just throwing money around. I don't know what a lot of CGI in this movie. Yeah, a lot of CGI in this movie. The, I like how the bra was retained till the end on the deer's antlers. Yeah, like that deer still just hanging around the yard and being okay with it. Yeah, continuity. It's important in Sandler. Films. I mean, it's been just, just it's just been a day. It's mm. been one crazy day. They could have called this movie an yeah. alternate title. Yeah. One crazy day. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't, though. Yeah, then they couldn't bank on the grown-ups, you too. You could got to bank on the grown-ups. Otherwise, what about it's, a otherwise, subtitle? otherwise it's a you're just like, why is Adam Sandler hanging out with his friends again in a movie? The grown-ups, too. One crazy day. Yeah, I guess you could have a subtitle. Mm. I still don't think you need one. I still feel bad for Rob Schneider. Grown-ups, too. Rob Schneider, if you want to call Where's in, Schneider? that's okay. We'll, well, we'll talk. We'll figure out what went down. We'll see if we can kind of patch things up between you and the Sandman. We'll get it happening. I th- well, I think he's going to be on that the Sandy Wexler movie. Oh, okay. So they are still with, friends. With Kevin James. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin James, Kevin James is that? the glue that puts them and Snyder together. <laughs> I think he's the glue that tore them apart. Uh, if that makes sense. Yes. Uh, Kevin James is the glue solvent. I feel like if Chris Farley never died... We wouldn't have Kevin James in these movies. I don't think we'd... Right? You wouldn't need Kevin James. Who Kevin James No, because I think Ray Romano would still be friends with him, but you wouldn't have to deal with him in a Kevin James movie. Do you think we should be blaming Will Smith for it? For Hitch? Yes. No, because I think he was still on Kings of Queens. Yeah, but that Hitch movie, that was that was a huge movie. Yeah, but then he didn't show up in movies again until Adam Sandler was his friend. Mm, when did Paul Blart start? <laughs> that was after. That was after he started being in Adam Sandler movies. That was I like 2010. Like this have been around forever. <laughs> yeah, maybe they have... 
Ugh. Did you see any of those small cop, no. cop movies? That's good. No. That's probably for the best. Yeah. Kevin James. Yeah, the hitch. Ugh, hitch. What a right what a what just a, a regular movie that movie is, Hitch. I'm, I think I watched a it's little not bit good. of it. It's not bad. It just is there. Being inoffensive. I think I was offended yeah. by because I, I was going to watch it, yeah. but then it wasn't there at Hollywood Video. And so I went to go. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, I was like, oh, well, I guess I won't watch it. But then they give you a free like, coupon sometimes if the movie's not there. Uh-huh. Do you remember these? No. Oh, well. The- no, the movies I wanted were always there because they were always obscure. Well. Unloved movies. I just like to watch what modern, r- real it's people It's they didn't have Hitch because, like, I remember those Hollywood videos, like, when you would go they there, had, there'd be, like, 30 of them on one on a shelf. There was, yeah, like, some big movies, they'd have an entire, yeah. like, five racks yeah. filled with a movie. I'm like, I'm like I don't still want to watch any of that. Many. You don't need that many. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I'd go to the Hollywood video and I'd I'd rent the, the Marion Cotillard and in, in Levine Rose. That's what I would do because I was a cool kid. In all high the school. way in the back of the store. I, yeah, I, I got that from Hollywood video. Yeah, like, I, like when they had like their three for like something deal. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. That movie's awesome. It's good. Yeah. All right, she won that. If you like Edith Piaf, I mean, yeah, sure. Or very inventive biopics. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, it Maybe gets I'll actually watch this now. Gets it's, a little creative there, Mr. Jeremy. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I, I, I thought you'd come around to Grown Ups too. No. 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 Thank you, Mr. Jeremini. I'm glad uh, you're I'm here. Mr. Scale on Because I would start to doubt my sanity if you weren't here. And Joe was like, oh, I liked it. And I went, Oh my God, what happened? Is the world backwards? Did I miss something in this movie? N- nothing. No. You didn't like this one more than Grown Ups. No. Uh, yes. But again, I think I, if I watched them both twice, I would hate them both. This one feels shorter though because there's no plot. There's nothing that you're it just, anticipating it just keeps the whole going. time. That's... It's just flat. It lies there and then it's done. And you're like, oh great, all right, well, it's over finally. So where would you rank these? Do you think one's better or two? That's what I'm better? wondering. I, I would say without question, two is so much. No, better. I think I don't know. Like I, one is definitely more structured, and so I give it points for that. Mm. But if I don't know, I think I'd ha- I think I could sit through two more than I could sit through one. I think more happened than two. So that's why yeah, I think that's what helps. It's just ne- every scene, something else is happening with more characters that I and can't remember. They don't know how to go to the next scene. They'll, they just will. Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> no, they're like, eh, we don't need a joke here. Just, well, when you have all that many SNL people, right? That's if, just what happens. An, Nobody en- knows how to end something. If enough people just walk out of the yeah. scene, then we can go. Yeah. <laughs> So what do you think they can build on for Grown Ups? Well, Ms. Joe Joe found some posts earlier. He thinks uh, somebody's going to get prostate cancer or something. No, no, no. no. Super serious. No. Yeah. <laughs> or the prostate cancer. Make, they'll just make fun of that guy the whole movie. It'll be Rob Schneider. Prostate eh. cancer. Yeah. They're worried about Sandler's, like, yeah. uh, cholesterol. Cholesterol. Wow. Yeah. That's, I don't think you can make a film about that. Because. <laughs> you can surprise me. But the thing is. They kind of like tamed that because in the yeah. at the end of the sec, at, at the end of Grown Ups too, yep. he's eating rice chips. He's gonna be fine. He's eating rice chips. Those are healthy. Healthier. What? What are we talking about? Yeah, I mean, guys, we're gonna watch this movie. I, I missed the uh, rice chips. Uh, yeah, right at the saw, end. Saw we missed that key clue. Right before he did the burp start. I thought he was in bed for the burp snort. Yeah, but he walks into the scene with a bag of that rice was an chips. Unne- yeah, that, that was a sponsor, Joe. That was an unnecessary, the, 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 burping, the burping thing. I don't know why that kept, we kept coming back to that. Just, uh. say, just say it once. A burp snort. Uh, no. Awful. Burp snort. No. I hated that joke. <laughs> you love burp Right, snort. everybody was like in love with it. Do you remember the scene? It was like right yeah. before the party, I believe, yeah. where they're all like picking out their costumes. Mm-hmm. And it just keeps going to the different... Uh, grown ups. What do we call these people? The, 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 I don't. I don't know, Joe. <laughs> what do we call the grown ups? No, the grown ups. The Sandler crew. All right, all right. We're wrapped this up, guys. So you can see your. Uh, your I'm just trying to. Think. You're waning You're in front of me. This movie, I think. Bro, I think I'm broken now. I think Sandler <laughs> has finally won over He's my won brain, out. my heart, my soul. I just. I mean, all the next dead. movie you're gonna love so much. What's the next movie? It's called Blended, baby. Uh, With your favorite... The, the Return of Drew Barrymore. And Terry Crews. No! <laughs> no! You don't like Terry Crews? No, I don't. I don't get the appeal. I don't. I don't understand. I don't. He is a delight I in don't, Blended. I don't. I don't. He all. is singing and dancing. Great. Awesome. The appeal is he's funny. I did not! <laughs> 
feels that he's Yeah, but you like Sandberg too. Like you're part of that. I can't. I, neither of them I enjoy. The um, whole show. Don't I, like it. I think just one of the weirdest transitions yeah. was when they walk into Kmart to the song Werewolf in London. I don't remember. I don't remember that. I just remember them being there for like 15 minutes at the Kmart. I'm like, are we just going to be at a Kmart? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this movie's incredible. No! No! I like. I was watching it like, yeah. and I'm like, Pat, is this going to love no, this? I can't believe you thought that. I can't believe you think so little of because me. It's, you don't know him as well as I do. You don't. Really? No, it's a championship that's going on here. I can't believe you seriously like this movie. That you were legitimate every time you said you were going to love this movie. Because I remember keep waiting for it. I'm like, oh, just maybe Joe meant it. Like, he really thought I would like this movie. <laughs> right? But then none of that happened. I'm like, Joe fucking oversold this movie. I knew he was going to do it. I knew he was going to do it. The movie is... No. One of a kind. No. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say that because there's Grown Ups 1. There's Grown Ups 1. It's but the, it's not anything like that. It's the, it's the yeah, Iceman comic, but nobody agree. dies at the end. Rob Schneider is dead. Rob Schneider might be dead. That's how they open up Grown Ups 3. Let's, Rob the Schneider's Let's get this script going for yeah. them. We'll get in pre production. That's not that they have this. You said it was coming out very soon. When's Grown Ups 3 coming out? Probably like, I don't know. It's just, it's summer. I'm surprised it's not already out, right? When this one? This was 2013? That movie should be out by now. Well, they waited three years for the little. Yeah, them. right so now it's oh, dead. Now it's 2016. Wow. Yeah, right? What are they Blew doing? your brain. We're going to have tra- Hotel Transylvania 3 before you have Grown Ups 3. Yeah, oh, wait. And maybe it's not in pre production yet. Hotel Transylvania 3 was. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. They jumped on that right I'm away. Just, I'm very excited to get this Noah Baumbach movie. Yeah, that might be okay. He can be hit or miss. Do you know that Ben Stiller had cancer? Yeah. That's sad. That was a whole big thing. I think he's fine now, though. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I, hope so. I think that's what I heard. All right, Mr. Jeremy, do you have any last thoughts? I do have a last oh, thought. Oh, great. I'm love loving it. the yeah. Dean Collins shirt that he was wearing in one of those scenes. He was? He was yeah. wearing a Dean shirt. No way. Dean College shirt. For those people who don't know, Dean College was the, the, the community college that then became a four-year college in our hometown when we were growing up. So four years now. Yeah, it's four years now, hmm. yeah. Hmm. So I love that. Yeah. And I miss that. And that is the thing that stood out That's to me in this the, film. That was the thing you liked the most. A uh, little shout out. All right. Uh, what about you, Joe? Any last thoughts here? I have one thought. Yeah. And it is, uh, it, it's a line that sums up my thoughts on how you guys make me feel. Oh, okay. What is it? Oh, that's cold. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? I don't, just, I don't, hold on. Before I go to my last thought, you have, you, Joe, have taken like a, like a clip of this movie. Oh, yes. Where he's in the... Where like they're, it is fantastic. It's when the two... Yeah. Uh, it's when Chris Rock's son and Adam Sandler's son are at the the rock area where they're yeah, all... Yeah, the quarry. Jumping. The quarry, it's yes. The quarry. Thank you. And they are trying to the, not yeah. com- succumb to peer pressure by drinking. And so they're just trying to pour out their drinks. But it looks like they're peeing. And then it just does... A really like slow zoom into David Spade's son, who's on like a little like, little raft, little floating you know, like, thing, little donut raft thing, yeah. and he's just like a big thumbs up, yeah, and he's just like summertime. Yeah, I don't understand why you have that on your phone. <laughs> summertime. That, did you did you find that funny or did you like it? I laughed my ass off. Why? 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 I mean, it's Why? kind of humorous. I don't even get it. Uh, cause What's can... the joke? There is no joke. Then I plugged into laughing at it. Pat doesn't get the joke. Don't encourage him. It's uh, good. I think it's a little funny, but not laugh out loud. I just don't, I don't, I don't, I just, I don't even... Uh. What are your final thoughts on this film? All right. What stands out to you? Okay. So, again, yes. I just want to reiterate the point here where this sort of differs from earlier Sandler, where you thought I would enjoy it because it's like early Sandler, I'm but sorry. it's not. I, it's didn't, po- I didn't mean to oversell it. It's like I thought poorly you really cobbled together. It. Like, it's crude. Like, I was telling Thomas Jeremy, it's crude. It's not absurd. It's not wacky. It's not zany. It's not like adult swim kind of like, what? It's just kind of gross out. 
mm. dumb I agree. I agree. comedy. That's all. So it's just not as funny. And again, this is sort of the problem I have with like modern Simpsons versus earlier Simpsons is they're just trying to get through so much so quickly. Mm-hmm. Nothing really gets to breathe. And when moments are breathing, it's not by directorial choice. It's just by laziness and not knowing how to edit. Mm. So that's that's where I think this movie fails. That being said, I think I I think I would watch this over Grown Ups. I think I prefer this to Grown Ups One, mm. as I've okay. been thinking about it over the last five minutes. Mm. Grown Ups One, yeah, is painful and maybe even takes itself too seriously. Where would you rank compared this compared to Grown Ups Two? Though in the rest of the Sandler catalog, oh, uh, we'll do that at the end of the podcast ooh, when we have all oh, the movies there ooh, ready to go. Very excited. I probably not terribly high, but he's made so many crappy movies. It might be like in the middle somewhere, maybe slightly above the I middle. Would, I mean, maybe not the top five. Maybe I was yeah. a little definitely not top five. I, cause I'm, I'm, I might be forgetting some ones that I really yeah. liked, but. Yeah, definitely top ten. Nah. Easily top ten. I mean, for he's, me. what has he done? Thirty movies. It might be possible. He's Maybe made a lot more. of crappy movies. Yeah, like too many movies with Jimmy. At least top thirty. All right, Jimmy, do we have any phone calls? No. All right. Okay so, then. Well, let's uh, let's thank Mr. Jeremini for showing up. Mr. Jeremini, what the name of your blog again is? blog.pauljeremini.com All right, you can check that out. With all the latest things. What do you, what kind of things do you like to blog about, Mr. Jeremini? Uh I blog about science fiction. I blog about things in life. I blog about technology. Sort of a, a grab bag, if you will. Mr. J, if you want something, Mr. Germany's probably got it. And let's thank the audio maven, Lev Van Rensselaer, for dealing with my insane levels as I was yelling at Joe most of this podcast. Yeah, that's fine. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Walls. If you don't have a wall, go out and get one. Probably get four, but definitely start with one and see how you like it. All right, you can find us, as always, at www.quixoticunited.com. Find our shorts, our animated, our podcasts, our music. Joe, say good night. Good night. to make a Malik sandwich with some Sandler in the middle. Okay. That doesn't make any sense to me. Well, I'll tell you. I wanted to watch The Thin Red Line Mm -hmm. last night. Mm. Okay. His war epic from 1998. And then I was going to watch Grown Ups 2. Yeah. And then after that, I was going to watch his uh, feature film, The New World. One of the cuts, because on the Criterion Mm -hmm. edition, they give you three cuts. We didn't have time for all that. No. Yeah. I what I did do is watch an episode of Westworld. Okay. Good use of time. Uh, no. <laughs> oh. Uh, and then I watched Grown Ups Two. And uh, then I then I watched the beginning of the New World, and I realized mm-hmm. I do not have three hours. To... <gasps> what? <laughs> exactly. What? Yeah. What? All right. What? Did you like, did Joe, did you like the experimental lozenges? Oh my god, they were so good, that ginseng, yeah. baby. I know, right? Mm. Oh, Mr. Germany, I'm doing experimental lozenges now. For what reason? For your uh, For $80. Oh. Yeah. Oh, for testing. Yeah, I'm testing them out for Ricola. You so. should create yes. a sitcom yeah. called Testies. Yeah. <laughs> About... It's just on FX. It lasted six episodes. Oh, it does. it's already a real thing. <laughs> to the, it's the show yeah. that I think. No, it wasn't. It it debuted like maybe the season after. It's always sunny. They tried another show okay. that wasn't the one where they all had like weird, um, like fat issue. Remember, like that. No. There's a show that no premiered with It's Always Sunny that did not work I out. remember that show. They gave it six episodes, too. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. The one where they, like... That's that show? No, there was another show oh, after okay. that. That's, that's I, the, I remember that's liking the show that premiered with Sunny more than Sunny. I did, too. And then when Sunny came back, it was way better. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was a strange experiment they tried. Yes. I feel like I saw this testy show. <laughs> yeah, it, it came on, like, maybe a couple of years after oh. the first the season. drug where they couldn't feel any pain I mean I, I think that was the I don't know premise the of the show <laughs> where they just Mr. Joe Joe and I have that. watched a couple episodes of Kevin Can Wait Ooh, starring Kevin James wow you, we're admitting this on air <laughs> well we gotta if I just blindly say I hate him then I just then I get called like a bigot or something but you've seen but, his you, I mean that, that's not how bigotry works <laughs> <laughs> but if but if we've seen some of it and then I say I still hate him 
then it's okay. Mm. And I do. But it's nice to see that he's sl- slimmed down a lot since Grumps too. Yeah. Did you notice that, Mister Jeremy? He could, when you, well, he doesn't have nothing you know, to do. I don't to. watch a lot he of Kevin Grown James. Ups, so. He watched Grown Ups one. <laughs> didn't he look fatter compared to Grown Ups one? I honestly didn't notice. Okay. All you right. know, I look beyond a person's build to the the character within themselves. So, but the movie wouldn't look past it because they kept putting him in such large clothing yes. too, to disguise it. All right, all right. Let's pause ten seconds for station identification. That's well, listen. I only haven't been in the last few weeks with Germany, but the, we've had like nothing to talk about the last few podcasts because the movies have just been like nothing movies. Just awful. I'm glad that we had some contention. Not awful, just nothing. Like if they were awful, I'm we could talk about how sorry. awful they are. I thought. No, I like that you like it. I don't. That's good though. That like, that's exciting. Because I thought you'd like uh, no. like like it just a little bit. No. More than the rest of the films that we've no. been doing lately. Deer, deer is not funny. Deer peeing on people not funny. I know it's not um, fu- I'm bad way to start a film. Fun. If I'm honest, <laughs> like it just feels it's like it just flops out. Like we're doing a your thing and I remember we keep thinking why is this relevant to you something mean, what <laughs> <laughs> see relax well I like Tim Tim Barlow's, Tim Barlow's another person that can kind of pull off these terrible jokes and kind of make them work I mean you can laugh at film but it doesn't make it I was film. laughing at just what I was seeing it's just so insane that this exists I, no That's it's sad I like it's it. sad that it exists it's just... It is depressing that it exists. I wish I could make 80 million films like that. Right? Yeah, give me 80 million dollars. I'll make a terrible movie. It's fine. Oh, wait, no one would want to no watch it. I'm not Adam Sandler. Watch, make, make it a... That's weird that it keeps happening. <laughs> just you said it again. Like the raft across it the wall. It jumps off like it's doing it out of spite. <laughs> Well, sorry I made you watch that, Mr. Jeremy. I'm glad glad we had you for the sequel.